Well, this video was long overdue. Not only because Seraphine in Legends of Runeterra has been out for a while, but also because Seraphine's base story needed a bit of a push. When she originally released, everyone agreed that her KDA lore was pretty good. But her lore in the core universe had some holes. Seraphine didn't feel that relatable for a character that is all about bonding with people. And also, she was able to talk to the Brekkern, but she never told anyone that the Brekkern even exist. Unfortunately, that part of the story has not really been fixed. But who knows, Skarner is still on his way. Anyway, I have to say that this is a Christmas miracle. Because Legends of Runeterra, among all the other achievements when it comes to the lore of League of Legends, managed to fix Seraphine and dare I say it, she became a cool character. So without further ado, let's have a look at what exactly did Legends of Runeterra do to Seraphine. It all starts with Seraphine herself. When this card dropped, everyone paused for a moment. Because nobody expected just how cool this could be. First of all, you see Seraphine fixing her own instruments. This kinda gives you the vibe of a musician that built their career from the ground up. Not a musician that was gifted and so they just magically became awesome. On top of that, as you can see, Legends of Runeterra gave Seraphine a pet. This squirrel is called Acorn and we'll talk about them in just a moment. Besides this, you can see all the messy tech around her, including the fact that you can count five cups of coffee around her, which is definitely very relatable. And somehow the part people pointed out the most is her hair. You can see that she is naturally brown, and when she's not on stage, the pink slowly fades away. This single detail gave Seraphine so much realism, and this overall picture just makes her so much cooler. Anyway, here's what the card says. Seraphine and her dad never talked about her secret trips to the Undercity, or the subtle upgrades she kept making to her stage. She was sure he would forbid her from participating in Zon's grungiest music duel. But one night, he tucked the flyer under her door. All she could do was smile and get to work. I don't think it was ever confirmed what this piece of paper was, but I assume it was one of the blueprints for her stage, which we will see later. Now, I'm not gonna show you the level 2 of Seraphine just yet, because that pretty much concludes this story. So instead, let's have a look at Acorn, the Hex Technician. This art is also incredibly cool. Because it is amazing to see Seraphine not in her stage clothing. Just wearing that coat does so much for her character. Also, she's riding a scooter with a guitar on her back. This is just so damn cool. And also, Acorn snuck away to go with her. You wouldn't know his name from any of the blueprints, or credit in any of the songs. But those in the know agreed, Acorn was the heart of the whole operation. Now, even though Acorn is called Hex Technician, and even though you'll see him in all the art where they are fiddling with their equipment, I don't believe Acorn is a super smart squirrel. At the end of the video, we'll have a look at the interactions, and there you'll see that he's just biting stuff. He's not really helping. But hey, he's a cute pet, so he's part of the crew. Now, of course, Seraphine is heading to her own concert. And what's funny is that the tickets for that concert were released one expansion earlier. So Seraphine was teased in the card, discreet invitation. Zone's best nightlife is invite only. If you're not in the band, you're gonna really be somebody to snag a spot. Or find a ticket on the ground. We then have the inspired plans. It's cool that you can actually see the stains from the coffee and even Acorn's footprints. The description of this card is basically one massive dad joke. And even though I am a dad and so I do have the permission to read this, I will not because I'm not your father. Long story short, Seraphine's father is a pretty cool guy. Speaking of which, let's have a look at him. This is Seraphine's father. And as you can see, he is fixing Seraphine's guitar with Acorn's help. But you can also see that Acorn is just biting stuff. And the description of this card reveals his great character. Once he had dreamed of leaving Zone and traveling the world with a song in his heart. Now, the world was asleep in her room, waiting for the songs tomorrow might bring. This instantly turned him into a Chad. 
It revealed that he is fixing Seraphine's instruments while she is asleep. I also love the environment around him. Once again, of course, there has to be coffee, but you can also see that he keeps a picture of her and Seraphine on the table. And as you saw from the description, he was ready to exchange his own dreams for the dreams of his daughter. Now, after Seraphine arrives at her own concert, the first one we get to see is the Zonite Bouncer. This is the one who makes sure only the ones with the invite get in. In the background, you can see some pictures of Seraphine showing that she will be playing here, as well as a reference to Seraphine's KDA, and in the background, we can see some characters who will appear around the stage, including the president of the fan club. Now, at the concert, we do have a card for a drum solo. There is nothing really important about this one, except for the fact that this guy will be on the stage later. Next, there is the fan club president. It's not about how big your voice is, it's about how big your heart is. The quote of the fan club president. Now, of course, she herself is holding a lot of references. There is Seraphine's leak splash art in the middle, there is a miniature version of her level 2 from Legends of Runeterra on the right, top left is her KDA skin, below that is one of the first pictures Seraphine posted on her social media, and below that is the cat, who also appeared on social media quite a lot. Also, she's holding the KDA glowing ward, which was available in the official merch store. Now, all around her, you can see some characters which we have seen before. From the Yordles to the other technicians to the bouncer in the front to Echo Screw in the back. You can even see the Ionian guides with the wide hats that appeared in the background of Arcane. And then there is this guy. Apparently, this is some kind of a reference to an anime, I think, but I genuinely don't know where it's from. And then finally, after this, there is the person which Seraphine went into duel with. She was having a duel with the Zorn Diva. Zorn! I hope you're ready to scream, because we're about to sing this place all over again. The quote of the Zorn Diva. Now, as I mentioned, in the background you can see the drummer. But I have to point out that the Zorn Diva is just really cool. It starts with the fact that you can see the hidden scars on her body, especially her chest and her neck. But by far the coolest part of her design is her leg. Not only is she missing a leg, but her leg was turned into an amp for her guitar. And you can see that her mouthpiece is connected to the amp as well. That's how she can be really loud. And behind her, Seraphine is visibly shocked. This one also comes in with the second card called Fatal Encore. The Divas show is totally worth the hearing damage. The quote of fans. Probably. Anyway, this entire concert ends with Seraphine's level 2. She had never heard anything like it. Maybe nobody had. Together, on that stage, they made something new. Of course, this is a cool moment for a numerous reasons. First of all, while Seraphine was shocked while the diva was playing, here, the diva is just impressed. But also we have to mention that Seraphine's guitar has a flamethrower. What is this, Rammstein? That instantly made her into a cool character. And here I have to mention one thing. Even though before she was wearing the coats and she was in her normal clothing, here, even though she is on stage, she doesn't have the stage clothing which she has in League. Here, she is more grounded with her design to Piltover and Zorn. And what I believe makes the biggest difference is the gloves. It sounds so stupid, but wearing leather gloves instead of the white gloves that she has in League just does so much for her. All the leather details just made her so much better. And I love this design so much more than what we have in League. It is unbelievable to listen to what I'm saying right now. But Legends of Runeterra legitimately made Seraphine cool. Now, when it comes to the interactions, Seraphine herself doesn't have too many good ones. That is mostly because she launched in Legends of Runeterra with Varus, which is a character not related to her story at all. So she only has a few comments about how she can hear the voices inside Varus's head, which of course are Valmar and Kai. And yes, she also has some interactions with Acorn. Acorn? No chewing on the Hextech! Ugh, oh, Acorn! I knew I should have gotten a cat. As you can see, Acorn is not that smart, even though he's wearing a hat. 
However, the best interactions come from the acoustician, which is Seraphine's father. And it really shows how much of a Chad he is. Dad, you sacrificed so much to get me here. <laughs> Didn't give up a thing, Serbear. Also, as you can hear, he calls Seraphine Serbear. So, you're the girl my daughter keeps talking about. What? Shut up! No, I'm not! Also, this interaction made people think, um, is there something happening between the two? Because from what we have seen, the cards wouldn't go against it. Oh, cool getup. How'd you build the distortion into that app? Huh, good ear. Most people just think I'm real loud. And yes, as you can see, her dad also knows what he's talking about. And it's simple for him to impress Seraphine's friends. Hey, you put me out of a job. What am I supposed to do now? Well, our fan club could really use a secretary. Again, this just makes her dad so cool. Dad, you can't keep me locked up forever. I'm just trying to do what's best for you. Also, as you can see, when the two are against each other, her dad's voice suddenly becomes desperate. Hey, anyone seen a stage around here? Kind of big, might have a girl on it. Dad, I'm not 11 anymore. Also, he has these pretty amazing dad jokes. But that's pretty much it for all the cards. Again, as I mentioned, this is a Christmas miracle. And I didn't think this is how I would end the year. Actually, that is a lie. I am planning on making one more video. A video where we talk about, well, what happened this year. But it also means that I'm planning something really cool for 2023. But so far, it seems like the lore of League of Legends is being carried by Legends of Runeterra. I'm not gonna lie, all the new cards are amazing. But it is sad to see that none of this is supported by a story leading to the core universe. But maybe this is just revealing the dire truth. I mean, if we don't get any stories in the core universe, Legends of Runeterra is gonna become the new core universe. And I am totally ready to embrace it. 